Hi, everybody. This is Aaron, and you're listening to the Oxrageous Post Game Podcast for Florida and Missouri. I hope everyone enjoyed their homecoming. You know, homecoming where the alumni come back and everybody gets together and celebrates how great it is to be a Gator, and then we all get to go to the swamp and watch a beatdown. Well, there was a beatdown tonight, and uh, not the way we wanted it. That's two in a row now for Muschamp on homecoming. We've progressed well past bad football at this point into something that's hard to describe, really. First of all, Jeff Driscoll, of course, has been getting worse week by week by week. Everyone saw it but this coaching staff. His confidence has been shot. Once a quarterback loses it, it's really hard to get it back. And right off the bat, he was terrible. And he kept getting worse and worse and worse throwing the ball up for grabs, fumbles, picks. The coaching staff had no idea what to do. They obviously didn't have anyone else prepared. The idea of Treon Harris playing any significant minutes had this been a close game was a joke. I'm sure because in their minds he wasn't ready or whatever. But what Muschamp did tonight was like leaving a pitcher out on the mound who's getting killed to be humiliated in front of everyone. He left Jeff Driscoll out there, whose confidence was gone, to get embarrassed and humiliated on national TV. By the third quarter, everyone felt bad for Jeff Driscoll. But the fact remains, he shouldn't have been put in that position. You know, as usual, we come out against a bad Missouri team. This is not a good Missouri team. And look completely unprepared, undisciplined, no game plan to speak of. The team looking like they haven't practiced. This has been going on a long, long time. In a sane world, Muschamp would be fired tomorrow because the season is not going to get any better. The players are in the dumps. The fan base is in the dumps. Our home crowd cleared out by third quarter on homecoming. I don't know what it's going to take for Jeremy Foley. How much more is it going to take? Maybe he's waiting for them to clear out in the first quarter or just for no one to show up at all. I don't know. You know, at halftime, we had 66 yards of offense against this terrible Missouri defense. 66 yards of offense. This was our great new offense this year. This was supposed to be so much better than last year. We were better last year than this team. How's that for scary? Are they going to blame injuries? Everybody's fine. I don't know what Jeremy Foley's thinking. Nobody does. But something needs to be done immediately, just for the sanity of everyone involved, including Muschamp. Put him out of his misery. Give the guy his $8 million and let him go. He looks miserable like everyone else. It just didn't work out for him here, Foley. Do what you need to do. We didn't have to throw away another year like this, though. That's the real bummer about it. This should have been taken care of by the end of last year. But I'm weary of crying over spilled milk. I don't even like to listen to myself these days. So this will at least kill all the talk about how we could still win the East. We still had a few people clinging to that possibility. It's no longer a possibility. We can put that out of our minds. It's rebuilding time or whatever you want to call it. Evaluating time for the rest of the year. We should be evaluating new players, new coaches, whatever. Leave the freshman in the whole game and let him play. Treon Harris showed a few flashes there in garbage time. Great. We need to put him in under center. Let him make some mistakes going forward. See what he can do. There's no reason not to. We have nothing to play for now. Heck, the quarterback, Matty Mock on Missouri, was almost as bad as Driscoll, and they still beat us by five touchdowns. We were just mind-blowingly bad. I, I don't want to talk about it anymore. So for you diehards still listening, thank you. Have a great week. Let's hope for a big announcement by Monday. And go Gators.